Here are some of the differences between argentium and sterling that you need to be aware of. Argentium transfers heat differently. Argentium melts about 50 degrees lower than sterling and takes longer to cool. You can see by the slight discoloration near the bead that the heat has transferred only a few millimeters up the wire. By going back in with the flame, I can burn those oxides off and there's no need to pickle. I've placed pieces of argentium and sterling side by side on my charcoal block to demonstrate the differences in melting temperature, surface oxides, and roundness. You can see the sterling has a hard time forming into a sphere. The fire scale that forms leaves the surface rough. You can see that the argentium cools more gradually than the sterling because it holds the heat longer. Notice the roundness in the beautiful surface of the argentium. Never quench argentium when it's red hot or cracking will occur. Simply wait a little longer for any red glow to disappear before quenching. You should always quench in water as it's hazardous to quench in pickle. Another amazing quality of argentium is the ability to heal itself by fusing. The sheet may now be hammered or rolled through a rolling mill. It's important not to touch, move, or manipulate argentium when it's red hot because it will crumble. Give it time to cool a few seconds longer than standard sterling. When heating, your work may need to be supported or it can slump. A way to prevent this is to use a screen. Pre-annealing and then letting the metal air cool before soldering or fusing can keep the metal from shifting or moving. The bezel on the left has not been annealed. You see the tension causes the metal to move. The bezel on the right has been annealed and stays in place. 